Hi Capricorn, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot and welcome to your general reading for the month of May. If you are new to this channel and feel guided, make sure you hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell twice so that you can be notified for all future updates. As a reminder guys, this is a general reading, meaning it's not going to resonate with every single soul that's out there. So take what resonates, leave the rest and utilize your own intuition. As always, if you want something more private or personable or this resonates with you, just go to the description box below and all of my information is there to book a private reading for me or with me and we will set something up okay reminder time is fluid as well so some of these are going to be uploaded before May so some of this may already have happened maybe happening to you now or a little bit down the road don't force this reading to fit guys if it doesn't fit it just means it's not for you no big deal all right <laughs> all right we're going to get started with some um Oracle cards, and then we're going to get into the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month, okay? All right, Capricorn, here we go. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascended masters as to what messages that Capricorn needs to hear this month. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know the month of May? Here we go. What am I looking for outside myself that is already within me? Are you looking for more guidance, confidence, peace, wisdom, love, or something else? When we search outside ourselves, we can become overwhelmed, frustrated, and never feel quite good enough. It's time to go inward to find everything you seek. All the answers you need lie within you. Breathe in your favorite oils, inhale deeply into your belly, drop your shoulders, and spend some time hanging out with your soul today. Ask for what you need and be ready for this. And when they say oils, they mean essential oils. That was just a tip. <sighs> Guys, this to me, and Capricorn, and this feels strongly to me, you might have <clears throat> this feeling of not fulfilling things that are authentic to you. Meaning that you are trying to fill yourself up or having other people fill you up to make you happy, to keep your mind off things. And what Spirit is really saying to you is that no matter who's in your life or what outcome there is, unless you're, you're the only person that can make yourself happy, okay? So there's a reason these feelings, these fears, even like good feelings that come up, there's a, there's a reason that they are there. And they really want you to start asking yourself for the advice and taking your own intuitive advice. Many of you are seeking support, seeking friendships, even seeking a relationship where um, you know you feel like you want, you want the appreciation, the love, right? They're like, why can't they feel the same way about me? Why, why, aren't, why won't they see that um, this makes me happy? This is what they do. It's having those expectations on people, right? When really it should be turned around going, why am I not giving myself that attention? Why do I need this person to give me this attention? What am I missing in my life? And that's the switch that is happening. Um, yeah, I feel like that switch is happening for many of you, right? Others of you, it's like, if you took so much advice from other people, this is about going within, okay? The thinking woman. Now this could be you, right? And we all have female and male energy, so consider it energy, guys, so feminine energy. But it also could be a person in your life, too, who is a mentor, someone you look up to, maybe get advice from. This feels to me... Um, if you're seeking outside help or support from somebody, and this could even be a family member, um, this is basically, there's something that's been evolving here, okay? Um, I, I almost feel like if there was somebody that you always try to get, um, you know, the basically world advice on other people, or try to always, you know, this person mattered so much on their opinion and stuff like that. You see there's a butterfly or transformation. There's something that this person has done for you that has enlightened you. This, this person has empowered you, Capricorn, this is what I'm hearing. This person has empowered you to look within, okay? Whether, even if this is a love relationship, this person is here to make you think, to go within. 
follow your heart. Let's see what animal spirits here with you. Skunk spirit, know your worth. Know your worth. Look at this. It's a nine. There's something that is coming close to completion here. I just feel like I think something's blossoming here. I mean, again, they're showing the flower. I always think a flower from Bambi on here, but with the butterflies and the flower, there's something that is evolving with you. And you're now becoming more aware of it. And it's like, I know what I'm worth. I know that I have to give myself more attention. I know that I seek attention. I know I don't need that kind of attention. Like it's that kind of stuff. It's, it's really, it's really powerful. It's, it's basically saying that you have this, this tremendous amount of confidence now. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what this is about. Here we go. Beginning of the month, we have the Princess of Wands taking action here, okay? <clears throat> we have the Hermit reversed. The Four of Swords. Interesting. Interesting. The Strength card. In the middle of the month, it's funny that you have the Peril of the Hermit reversed in the Four of Swords. The two waiting cards, one is like this, but I, I already have the message, so I know what it is. But we have the Four of Coins. We have the Moon Energy. The Two of Wands, I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm not trying to laugh. The Ten of Cups reversed. The Star, amazing. King of Coins, the Emperor reversed, and the Knight of Cups reversed, interesting. We do have the Fool card reversed, okay? So, you're not being foolish anymore. I mean, I'm hearing that strongly here with this. This, this to me is about, it's not just the fact that you're not taking risks or being chancy or taking a leap of faith. This doesn't feel like a leap of faith anymore. You're not risking something that is going to devalue you. That's what it is, okay? This could even be a job. This could be something to do with family as well. And others of you, this is a relationship. But with the Princess of Wands here, Okay, she's very action oriented. She's young. Okay, so I do feel like there's you definitely have someone in your life This this feels like gosh, they're showing me the butterflies again here Capricorns. You might be dealing with a fire sign here Whatever you've been in the standstill if you were if this is a relationship this is about knowing your worth and taking it I was going to say an inappropriate word, but I'm trying not to say it. <laughs> it's not really inappropriate, but it's like, just like grasping the bull by the horns, okay? And just being like, no, this is what I'm worth. This is what's going to happen. And I need to start working on myself, okay? Others of you, this is about you stepping in your power, okay? You are well aware with this hermit. That's all about being enlightened. Virgo energy here, going within. They're showing me again the red. So it just feels like you've been something passion or desire and i think that you do have a desire to go within you were well aware with the four swords and there's this the, the energy that i said i don't you know with these one more versed because they're like contradicting one another it is taking you great strength great strength here to allow the worries to go away. Some of you, this is obviously revolving uh, communication or blockages, okay? But I feel like the communications has been like, if there was disagreements, if there was things where it was like, it's not going your way, it's like you've had enough of it. You're putting it down, okay? You know that you haven't really taken the time to go within of why you're feeling this specific way. It's taking you great strength, okay? to hold on to what's important to you because we have the four of coins here and that's all about holding on okay but it's like holding on so tight and with these butterflies there's just something look at this look at the look at the light coming out of this guy's head shining right enlightened it's like utilizing your intuition here with this moon energy okay it's being able to be enlightened with something that is like not definitely seen or feeling uncertain but it's all of a sudden knowing that you have choices, especially with the Two of Wands energy here too, because 
Yeah, you definitely have a choice. You have a choice to see what your worth is and what's making you happy and what's not making you happy, okay? Some of you, this is definitely in regards to a relationship with a 10 of cups reverse. It's like, listen, I know this relationship doesn't make me happy. It's not fulfilling me. I know that I have expectations on this individual. I know that um, I'm still healing from it. This is about awareness, okay? But it's the awareness to the fullest attention being that I know what, I, what I'm worth, why am I not getting that? So if you aren't speaking up, I feel like you're going to be shutting down to an individual or really expressing to them that it's not working out for you. Now for others of you where I said it's not love related, this is the feeling of, okay, I know my worth, I feel like, and like I said, many of you have someone in your life um, who you look up to or support who's, has, who's helped you, right, to get through this. It's to realize the choices that you have that are not making you happy anymore, okay? That you've put a lot of emotional cups into this, but it's imbalanced here, all right? Like I said, some of this might have to do with, with a, a love relationship. Others of you, this is a relationship meaning a work um, but it's definitely a relationship, could be a friendship as well, but it's healing because we have a star here. So there's a lot of, I mean, the green, it's an open heart chakra here. This, this is, a, this is the he most healingest card you can get, okay? This isn't just about wishes or hopes that come true. This is about healing and balancing yourself, returning stuff back to Mother Earth, okay? You have the King of Coins, which is your own energy here, Cappies. He's abundant, he's productive, he gets things done, he's the father figure. I feel for many of you, you might actually, you know, with the emperor reversed next to the king of coins, you, I, and this might be the energy of the other person, but I'm gonna say it's you, is the energy of letting go of control, okay? Because he's very controlling, he's very powerful, that, you know, Aries energy too. But it's letting go of control of things that no longer serve you. We have the Knight of Cups here, who's about an offer, a loving emotional offer here, but this is reversed. Letting go of emotions that no longer serve you, okay? And we're gonna, we're gonna validate these with the outcome cards, but that's what it feels like, okay? Others of you, you have someone in your life who could be like more of a father figure or like I said, a mentor or, you know, with this level of there, but you do have someone who's supporting you, who's allowing you to like take, not, not to take the control of it, who's allowing you to show you your worth, okay? That maybe that you didn't have that Knight of Cups energy, that you were not taking the leaps and face that, you know, jumps that you used to because it's reversed. This person is guiding you. This person is there to support you, but it's not that you are looking outside of yourself. They're showing you how to look within. They're, they are empowering you. This person is extremely grounded. And like I said, if this is a relationship, I do feel it's your energy where you're the extremely grounded one. You're the one who's letting go of things. Yeah. All right. Let's see what the vice versa deck has to say for your outcome. I do not take reversals on the vice versa from my outcome cards. I just don't. That's what I feel guided to do. <laughs> All right, Capricorn, here we go. Oh, interesting that you get the Knight of Cups again, but this, this time upright. We now have the Queen of Pentacles. Oh my, oh my. We have the King of Swords here. Mm -hmm. And we have the Queen of Wands. Wow, look at all this action. Holy moly. A lot of people here. A lot of people here, which means you're getting support. Wow. All right. I have a bunch of messages. I'm going to try to break it down as much as I can for you, Capricorn, because there's a lot here, and I know I've been through a lot of this, so I'm going to try to get them straight. For the loved one that I said, where you're leaving someone fine or not making an offer here, shutting down, what is going to happen? This person is going to make the offer, okay? Look at how they're going towards the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Okay. King of Coins, Queen of Pentacles, they realize it. Remember I said that I felt it was your energy of cutting off this person, not them. I feel like they're coming to make an emotional offer because they see your worth now, right? They see you holding your stability. You're the mother card here. 
Um, with the king, with the king here and the queen of wands, I feel like there's some kind of spoken truth that's here. And I feel like there is going to be some passion and desires here that are going to be fulfilled. It's balanced. It's This is not just like, it's balanced, guys. I mean, we have all, this is why I'm saying it's balanced. It's not a whole bunch of people, okay? This is balanced energy. This is all the elements shown up on the table here, okay? And it works its way up. It works from the knight to the king's. To the queen okay like it's working its way up there's a balance here there's an emotional offer there's stability here there's logic here there's passion here you're getting through a cycle because you put your foot down you know your worth and you, I do feel like you got some kind of support in some way that really showed you how to envision or follow your heart because you're aware of a lot of things now for others of you where this isn't a relationship, okay? And it's really just, you know, like I said, it, not a love relationship. This is about um, offer, whatever that you cut out that was not emotionally fulfilling anymore. You might have gotten some financial support or like I said, you have this figure in your life. There is an offer that is giving you a lot of abundance here, okay? There's something that's going to be a really equal give and take. This could even be a new partnership, okay? Especially if it's down to business, all right? I feel that the energy here is it's driving the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. I do feel like this energy is driving something that is going to be more strategy-based. It's going to bring out the creativity in you and passions and desires because you're confident now. These are very two confident leaders here okay so I do feel like this energy is actually going to draw the both of you out in this level where it's going to be a drive for taking actions and, and they're both action oriented right mm. others of you if this isn't um, career wise and this is just a life purpose of knowing your worth and realizing that you have friendships that are stale or not coming your way and you're like now that I said that you got that support from this individual this person um, that you weren't going within before this is about finding people in your life that are emotionally fulfilling and it's gonna be more than one person coming your way okay there's gonna be more than one person here there's it's almost like a soul tribe that's gonna be pulling in things on there because they see your worth these people see your worth because they know that you're not utilizing them to um, fill yourself up. You're already filled, right? You, you enjoy their company, their time, their appreciation, everything in that level, all right? Let's see what healing cards we have for you, Kathy. Interesting reading. Sacred space, a new day, psychic development are you kidding me I do I feel that sacred space that's creating the space that you need allowing yourself to have that space so that you can breathe so that you can be enlightened remember you're taking that break you're taking that break the beginning of the month okay realizing things that weren't working out things like that that's creating that sacred space if you haven't done this this is the need to do it all right 11 you got the new day card dragonfly in the sun this is transformation and happiness capricorn i mean this is this is and here's another transformation card here the psychic development you got a swan and you have the sun again you have the sun basically twice in here okay so there is happiness here it's evolving this is knowing your worth too because remember the story of the ugly duckling and then became this beautiful swan you're in the swan level now okay five you have psychic development five this is all about transformation change huge change coming your way here also psychic development this is about utilizing your skills your intuition having those dreams that you know maybe you never inspired this is about going within and looking at them now okay some of you might be clairvoyant well we're all clairvoyant but I mean noticing you're having more vivid dreams you're actually being aware of them and writing things down taking that mentorship that I told you and it's like you're kind of going into that level a lot of you could be an intuitive or going towards that field but this feels like you are becoming you this feels to me that you know your worth now all right Capricorn I hope this resonated for you go ahead and hit like comment below and don't forget to subscribe I will see you next month